Hey guys, how's it going? It's Luke Truman, and today I want to show you how to download ebooks in Chinese for free, get them into a text document, and then from there import it into a tool called Chinese Text Analyzer, which you can use to analyze the difficulty of the text, and then from that also generate a frequency list from the most to least frequent words in the book, and then to turn that into flashcards that you can put into Anki. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is go to ChineseTextAnalyzer.com and download the right one for you. So I've got a Windows PC, so I'm going to download the Windows version. And then you can just go ahead and click Remind Me Later. You get a 14 day free trial when you download it and you have the choice to purchase it on the website later. Right, so first of all, I'm going to show you how to get free books online. So I'm going to show you the example for the Condor Heroes. So the, example, the website I use is called Howdo howdo.net this is for traditional and I've also leave another link where you can download text documents for simplified Chinese and I'll put a link to that in the description so here you can download the EPUB of howdo.net and then when that's downloaded then drag it to the folder that you want and once you've downloaded that you want to be using another third party program called Calibre which is an ebook library manager that I'll leave a link in the description and I'll be using this to convert it from an EPUB to a text document. So first click on add books there on the top left. So click on the EPUB that you want to convert to a text document and then once that's added to the library you've gone convert books up there and then on the top right you change it from EPUB to text click on OK and then in the bottom right you can see it's got one job going if you left click on that it'll show you how far it is along and you can see the progress there. Once that's done, you can see a text has appeared in the format for the right hand side. If you click save to disk and then choose where you want it to be saved. And again, I'm choosing the same folder as before. So now we've got the text document for it here. Um, and we can use this with Chinese text analyzers to do a lot of cool stuff. First things first, you want to click on file and then open to open the text document that we've just downloaded so here I'm, it's the second book from the Condor Hero series and first of all you can see it gives us a frequency list in terms of the most frequent word down to the least frequent word for every word in the book and it spits it up in terms of all known and unknown and I'll explain how the known and unknown words work a little bit later in more detail but briefly it stores what no words you know and what you don't know and you can right click and manually mark them here if you want to do any corrections. So looking at the top here, there's a lot of word statistics. So it tells you the total amount of words in the book, the total amount of unique words in the book, which you can see for this is 11,000. And also it tells you the total amount of characters and the total amount of unique characters, as well as splitting up the words in terms of difficulty from HSK and TOCFL. Now this won't be 100% accurate because there will be some problems with the parsing but generally looking at the unique word and unique character count can give you a rough idea of the book's difficulty. So now on to manage words. So here you click on words lists and then you click clear and that will get rid of your known word library so it would basically reset it to blank. And then So then what we can do is we can import known word list so you can use this with other websites in conjunction so you can export csv files from websites like link or anki apps such as morphman or migaku and then use that to install into chinese text analyzer to use for this um, or as you just saw you can do it based on the t based on the tocfl or the hsk word lists so here i'm going to then open the first book in the condo hero series and then I'm going to export. And first, I want to draw your attention here. So to the bottom right, where you've got the different selected fields and you can see the available fields on the left hand side. So if you click on the top right and go on help and then help again, or you can press the F1 command key, it basically will bring up the documentation. And if you scroll down through this and go on the exporting section, export word list here, you can see a list of what all these different things and parameters mean. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to Google Drive here and open up a Google Sheets. 
and then I'm going to go back to Chinese Text Analyzer, set up the selected fields that you want. You can see the ones that I've chosen. And then I'm going to change the amount of rows that I export. Now, as you can see here, there's thousands of words in this, in the frequency list, and I'm not going to export every single one. So what I like to do is just export all the words with a frequency of 10 or higher. So looking at this, the 10th one is row 988. So I'm going to go back and go and export now, and I'm going to change that 1,988. And then in the bottom left, you can see my exported words to known. All that means is when you click the export, it's going to change all of those all of those exported words to known words in the analyzer, which is good if you're using it to add to things like Anki to create flashcards, because that will stop you from re-exporting the same word more than once and creating duplicate flashcards. So once you've done that, you simply click Control V on the Google Sheets to paste it in here. And then what I like to do is on the top row there, I like to type in all the headings for what the different things are. Sentence will like it says in the description, pick a whole sentence where it's line will take just one line from the book there. And I've actually labeled the um, column headings incorrectly. I've got the line and sentence the wrong way around. But you can see for the sentences, they're so, so big. So I recommend using the line ones when choosing which one to set as the expression field in Anki. So what you want to do is click on File, Download, and then download the comma separated value CSV file. And what this is gonna this is gonna do is it's gonna allow, give you the file that you need to download and to put into Anki. So I'm gonna keep this on hold for one second, and then I'm gonna do the same with the second book. Here you can see me importing the frequent importing the um, text document for the second book to create a frequency list. And as you can see that words that were in the last one as unknown, like for example, that one there, Guo, which is the protagonist's name is now moved to known. So all the unknown words are gonna be ones that you haven't previously exported before. So again, I'm gonna go on clipboard and export it the same as before and take it over to Google Sheets and export that again as a CSV, the same as before. And now I'm gonna show you how to create Anki cards like this. So you've got the sentence, on the front with the frequency number of how many times it appeared in the book. On the back, you've got color coded by the tones with the pronunciation on top. You've got the target word and the English definition or whatever definition. If you prefer monolingual, you can do that as well. So then first thing we need to do is we need to go and manage cards. And then what we want to do is we want to go onto the fields option in the bottom right. So I'm using Migaku Chinese Taiwan and I'll leave a link to Migaku's YouTube channel in the description box below. So you click on fields on the right. And then what you want to do is you want to make sure you add a field for frequency and for word. So you can see I've added there at six and seven there, there and you want to click on add here and you can add it manually. I've already done this, so I'm not going to, um, but that's how you do it. Then the next thing you want to do is you want to again, go on manage note types and then you want to go on the card option on the right hand side. And what this is going to do, you can see you have to add frequency to the front. So again, this is the front side of the card. You click new or you click add at the bottom and you can add it here. And then at the top, you can choose the back side. And again, you have to add the word to the back. And then the rest should just be the default setup for the Miyaku card type. So then you want to click on import. You want to select the CSV file in here. What you want to do there is you want to match up the column headings in the Google Sheets with the different field options in Anki. So the first one was the frequency. The second one was the word. The third one I'm not going to use because it's a sentence and it's too long. The Fourth one was the meaning and the fifth one was the line, which we're going to set as the expression. And then you click import in the bottom left when you're ready. But quickly before I do that, I'm going to create a new deck. So I'm going to click on add. And then I'm going to change this to condo here is 2.1. Click confirm and then click import. And you can see at the top there, it says it's done. So click OK. So I'm going to quickly go on um, custom. So I'm going to quickly go on statistics and as you can see, it's created 276 new cards there. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to quickly go on custom study just to bring up the cards so we can see, you can see what they look like. I'm going to just let that as five just for now. So 
So clicking on this now you can see the first one was the first row which is the column heading so you can just go ahead and just check that it's the right ones are in the right place for a quick sanity check and then delete the card as we don't need it. So then this is the first card there you can see you've got the line on the front with the frequency number, the target word on the back with the definition that it gave. The next thing I'm going to be using the Migaku Chinese add-on in Anki to add pronunciation to the top of the cards and colour coding for the tones. So what you want to do is you want to select your deck on the left, Control A to select all, click on generate Chinese readings and then follow the settings as I do on here. Choosing the reading type as Pinyin or Bopomofu as you prefer and collect add. Click on add readings and it will generate readings for the entire deck automatically. And then when you press to see the reverse side of the card, it's going to show you the sentence with the color codings and with the readings on top. So as you can see just there, I deleted the first half of the sentence that I don't want because I feel that the shorter the better. And then you can change the definition to whatever you like. So for this specific example, it's the name of one of the characters. So I'm just going to type in name. And once that's done, don't forget to click synchronize to save your new cards to Anki Web. And then that's it, it's done. Thank you so much for watching. So that's it for today. If you have any other questions, please let me know in the comment section below. If you find it useful, don't forget to like this video or share it to those who you think might find it useful as well. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.